Hi, I'm Monica, the registered nurse at Catalyst Wellness. I'm here today to show you how to load your dose of male testosterone and B12 medication into your syringe and complete an intramuscular injection in the shoulder, glute, or quad. First, you want to make sure you have gathered all necessary supplies. Medication to be injected, alcohol swabs, a 1 inch 18 gauge needle, a 1 inch 25 gauge needle, 1 ml syringe for female, and 3 ml syringe for male. Shoulder. Locate the injection site, which is the deltoid muscle injection site. This is the central and thickest portion of the deltoid muscle. Approximately two to three finger breaths, approximately two inches, below the acromion process and sitting just above the level of the armpit. In the central part of the upper arm is the deltoid injection site. To aid identification of the muscle area, you can raise your arm first to define the muscle. Once defined, relax your arm and proceed. Gluteus maximus. Imagine a line from the bottom of the buttocks to the top of the hip bone. Imagine another line from the top of the crack of the buttock to the side of the hip. These two lines form a box divided into four parts. Put the injection in the upper outer part of the buttocks below the curved bone. Quad. Sit in a comfortable position. Choose an injection site in the middle third of the thigh on the lateral half. Never inject on the inner thigh where there are important blood vessels and nerves. Before you begin, wash your hands thoroughly. Step one, take the cap off the vial, clean the rubber stopper with one alcohol swab, allowed to dry. Step two, pull the 18 gauge needle cover straight off the syringe. Step three, keep the vial on your flat working surface and insert the needle straight down through the center of the rubber stopper. Do not put the needle through the rubber stopper more than once. Step four, keeping the needle in the vial, turn the vial upside down, Position the needle so the liquid is covering the tip of the needle. Step five, keeping the vial upside down, slowly pull back on the plunger to fill the syringe with the testosterone medication to the number that matches the dose your doctor ordered. Step six, keeping the needle in the vial, check for air bubbles in the syringe. If there are air bubbles, gently tap the syringe with your fingers until the air bubbles rise to the top of the syringe then slowly push the plunger up to force the air bubbles out of the syringe without removing the needle from the bottle. Step seven. After air bubbles are gone, pull the plunger back to the number marking on the syringe that matches your dose. Step eight. Remove the needle from the vial and perform the same process with the B12 vial. Step nine. Once both medications are in the same syringe, carefully recap the needle and remove the 18 gauge needle, replace with the 25 gauge needle. Step 10, check to make sure that you have the correct dose in the syringe. It is very important that you use the exact dose prescribed by your doctor. Step 11, do not lay the syringe down or let the needle touch anything. Giving the injection. Step one, clean the injection site skin with an alcohol swab. Let it air dry. Step two, insert the IM needle into the muscle at a 90 degree angle with one quick and firm motion. Step three, after inserting the needle into the muscle, take your hand off the skin. You may feel some burning or pressure as the medication enters the muscle. Step four, when you finish injecting the full dose of the medication into the muscle, remove the needle. Step five, gently press an alcohol swab on the injection site. Hold pressure on site until there is no bleeding. You can place a Band-Aid on the injection site if needed. Step six, Place the cap back on the needle and dispose of the needle into the sharps container. Tips for reducing injection pain. Inject medicine that is at room temperature. Remove all air bubbles from the syringe before injection. Let the skin dry after using alcohol wipes before injecting. Keep the muscles in the injection area relaxed. Break through the skin quickly with the needle. Don't change the direction of the needle as it goes in or comes out. Do not reuse disposable needles.